talking about poles and irrational function. What do you guys notice about this particular function that the numerator and the denominator both have in common? When, which means, if you have numbers that are exactly the same in the numerator and denominator, what, what can you do, right? Cancel them out. What I want you guys to do is I want you to cancel these out on your paper. And now you have basically the function of 1, because this divided by this is 1, over x plus 2. Now, if our new function right here is f of x is 1 over x plus 2, what number are we not allowed to plug in there? Negative 2. Negative 2. Which lets us know we, we're going to have a what? We're going to have a, a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. Now, we've pre-typed in this function into our graphing calculator, correct? So if we go to our graphing calculator, we see we've actually plugged this in. Now, these, what, 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 it, what happened to these right here, they cancel out, and you're going to be left with this right here, correct? So if we graph these, we should have what? Basically the same graph. So go ahead and let's hit graph and see what it looks like, right? There's our first one, and look what happened. The second one graphs over it. But watch what happens when I check the table. Would you guys agree that the table should be what? Exactly the... Same, right? Let's check the table. Second table. Now let's go up to negative 2, and then let's go up to positive 3. What's what's the negative 2 right here? What does this represent? Right here, and, um, that would represent your asymptote. So this right here represents our vertical asymptote, right? <laughs> okay. Let's go down. Go down. Wait a second. What do you notice at the number three? So one of them has an error, but one of them has a number that you can plot. Let's go back and kind of take a look at our graph. This one had a number, if you plug in a three there, right? If you plug in a three there, you plug in a 3 here, that becomes what? That becomes 1 over 5, correct? Mm -hmm. But if you plug in a 3 here, what happens to that number? So let me tell you something. Right here, in this function, a hole was created at x equals 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you how to draw a hole in a graph. Because a hole is different than an asset. A hole is always created whenever something in the numerator and the denominator cancel out. So here's what I want you to do. In this graph, right here, okay, what you would say, where x is equal to a 1, 2, 3, if you wanted to do a correct drawing of this graph, where x is equal to a 3, you would put in a hole in the actual graph. Like if you were to draw that graph correctly, everything is the same between the blue graph and the red graph except for one thing. Here, there is a hole where x is equal to a 3. Okay? So an asymptote, every, you can tell, they share the same what? They, they share the same vertical asymptote. But one graph has a hole where x is at 3 and another one does not. Okay, so what I want to do right now, I'm going to go over here, to the far right, okay, you can see this right here is where the hole is located, okay, and the next thing I want you to do, is I'm going to give you guys an equation, and I want you to identify the hole and identify the vertical asymptotes, okay, so here we go, here's an example problem. So I want you to do right now is I want you guys to look at that problem right there 
then I want you to identify the vertical asymptotes, all right, and or the holes of the graph. Okay, that's what I want you to do. Hold on, we're almost there. What did you guys find for the vertical asymptotes? Negative five. So he said x equals negative five. Anything else? X equals negative three. X equals one is correct. Now look what happens. These cancel out. So we don't have an asymptote at x equals negative three. We have a hole at x equals negative three. So these right here, these don't cancel out because even though it says x plus one and x minus one, they don't cancel out because they're not the exact same binomial. Okay? So without even graphing it, you can still be able to find what? Vertical asymptotes and moles. We'll continue this tomorrow.